In this Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video, I bring you 10 plus bosses you don't want to miss. In other words, these bosses can be found off the beaten path, easily missable, and will at the same time reward you some great items that you do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So within the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, there are multiple bosses who you will no doubt encounter. But today guys, I want to share with you bosses you may actually miss. Because there are a few guys who are really off the beaten track. Many of them actually dropping good and useful items too. I mean, we are talking weapons, we are talking sorcery, armor, incantations people, and much more. So let's check a few of these out. Now these are in no particular order but I will drop timestamps down below as I usually do. So first things first. Do you guys remember the Divine Dancing Lion? Well guys did you actually know there's a second one or a time you come across him for the second time? I do say this because unless he made himself another mask can it be the same one? I ain't too sure. So to find him guys you need to first have access to the rural ancient ruins west grace. Upon you being here follow the path I take on screen now. Now once you actually get to this beast and take him out, you are rewarded the Divine Beast Tornado. Pretty cool. Okay so next up guys we have the Black Knight Idred, who upon you taking him out gives you the Ash of War, the aspects of the Crucible Wings. Yep, this is the Ash of War many folks went wild about upon when we first saw it in the trailers for this DLC. So this is a boss hidden within the Fort of Reprimand. If you head south from the Morph Ruins Grace, you will come to this place. Now the closest Grace is the Morph Highway South Grace, and on screen now you follow the path I take and you'll find this boss.
Next up guys we have the dancer Verana, who drops not only her amazing armor but also her very unique weapon, the dancing blade of Verana, with its actual basically allowing you to dance until your FP runs out, slashing away, pretty cool. So to get this guys you want to come to the Cerulean Coast West Grace and follow this path I take on the screen now through this hidden cave and straight to her mausoleum. Next up guys we have Rat Chaser, who is hidden away in his very own mausoleum, but when you take him out, he drops some of the best armor in the game, as well as an absolutely incredible great katana. Items you really don't want to miss. So from the castle watering hole grace, which you get to by using the secret pathway from Shadow Keep, I do have a full guide to this on my channel, I'll link it down below in the video description, but guys follow the path I take on screen now from this grace to the eastern nameless mausoleum where he can be found. A tip as well for people who struggle here, use the sacred relic sword where you can basically cheese him. Keep knocking him down, time it right, knock him down again, he doesn't stand a chance.
Next up guys we have Death Right Bird. Now I won't lie, this bastard scared the crap out of me when he popped up behind me when I was running through this area. Now for taking him out you get the Ash of War and Ghost Flame, so pretty cool. So this boss is located just north or well, northwest of the Charos Hidden Grace, I believe that's pronounced Charos, Charos, who really cares. But in this body of water just northwest of this place, you will find this boss. Take him out, guys, and get this incredible reward. So do you guys remember the golden hippopotamus boss fight? Well did you actually know there's two more of these you can find, although not anywhere near as tough, they both do indeed drop those shadow tree fragments. So from the recluses river downstream grace, follow the path I take on screen now to this body of water where these two can be found. Take them out, reap those rewards and do what you gotta do. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Shadow Tree Avatar and the two Tree Spirit bosses found under that Shadow Keep. Now the Shadow Tree Avatar we will check out lastly, as the two Tree Spirit bosses are along the way to him. But all three of these are located within the same area and all take place from the Sunken Gospel Grace, a grace revealed to players upon using a switch within Shadow Keep to remove the water from the area, which I'll showcase to you guys first from the church district entrance grace. So follow the path I take on screen now guys, remove that water and make your way to the sunken chapel grace. Okay, so from here we're going to head to the first of two tree spirits. Upon you taking out the very first one guys, you will get the mantle of thorns, so this you do not want to miss.
So the second tree spirit within this area died for me randomly without me even knowing he was there, so I was rewarded without even fighting. But for taking this guy out, for taking this tree spirit out, you get the Iris of Occultation, an item used in the Ymir and Yolan questline, as well as the Fire Knight Quillian questline, which gives you some awesome rewards, so it's an important item to keep for sure. So from the same sunken chapel grace, run to where I do on screen now guys, the boss will be here, he will come out the floor, take him out and you get this Iris. It is as simple as that. So the Shadow Tree boss fight is one of the best I've done in this game. For defeating this boss you get the Remembrance where you can pick from the Land of Shadow Incantation or the Shadow Sunflower Blossom Colossal Weapon. So from the Sunken Chapel Grace point, follow the path I take on screen now to this boss fight and do what you gotta do guys. Now we'll warn you there's three waves to this beast so when you do think he's down and out, he probably isn't. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the two Death Knights, which both offer some amazing rewards. One giving you the Dark Knight's Twin Axes, as well as the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus 3, and the other one giving you the Death Knight's Long Shaft Axe, along with the Cerulean Amber Medallion Plus 3. So for the Dark Knight's Twin Axes and the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus 3, you need to take out the Death Knight within the Fog Rift Catacombs, which is located just northwest of the early game grace of Castle Front. So from here guys, head your way into these catacombs, defeat this boss and reap those rewards. For the Death Knight's Long Shaft 
axe with the cerulean amber medallion plus three we need to take out the death knight within the scorpion river catacombs this one's much much harder to get to so from the temple town ruins grace point people follow the path i take on screen now around to these catacombs once you are here make your way down to that boss fight and take him out to reap those rewards now I have made a couple of guys on a few of the actual bosses here and I'll link them in the video description for anyone struggling. I've made guys on the catacombs too to make your way through these so keep that in mind. But there we have it guys, 10 hidden bosses you may have missed. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.